Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Keely, and today we are cleaning out my closet. Not to be confused with that Eminem song, which if you don't know that song, then you're probably a lot younger than me, but you're welcome to be here anyway. I have a couple goals for 2022. The first one is one we're gonna work on today. Anybody else walk into their closet, look for an outfit to wear, try a bunch of stuff on, throw it all on the floor, decide not to hang it back up because you're so frustrated, and then leave wearing something that you wear every day anyway because same, that's like a core pillar of my personality, okay? I am so bad about hanging my clothes back up after I tried them all on. Either one, I'm in a hurry because I live my life late for things, or two, I'm just like, you know what, I'm done here. I'm not going to deal with this today. I'll deal with it another day and then I don't and then things just get all messed up. And then when I do hang it back up, I don't always put it back in the right spot and I've lost all organization in my closet. And I need to get my life together. This is part two of my organization and decluttering series for 2022, and I'm glad to have you here with me. We have decluttered my pantry so far, and now we are working on my clothing. Now, if you are anything like me, you probably wear about 20% of your clothes 80% of the time, and don't always put them back the way they're supposed to be. You probably got a lot of clothes that you need to get rid of, and so I'm hoping that me doing this will give you guys some motivation to also go through your closet. I really think that we need to declutter and go through our house every year, and that is why I'm doing this series. So welcome back and welcome to part two, and hopefully you'll subscribe if you're not subscribed already so you can catch all the rest of my messes. I'm about as realistic as they come, and I don't have some grand walk-in closet. I actually share a closet with my husband. One side is mine, and uh, one side is his and mine, and I put my stuff on both sides, if I'm being honest. In that that same respect we also have two dressers one is mine and one is about a third mine and the rest his and uh, we're gonna go through it all today I'm trying to get my life together this year I'm trying to organize and I'm trying to take you guys along with me to help you guys too so I've got a lot of great tips today I've got a lot of organization happening today and I'm excited to have you here with me so before I keep talking let's jump in to organizing we're as you can see, I can't even open my drawers barely. So we got a lot of work to do. We're starting in the drawers. I'm gonna take everything out and put it on the bed. Let's get real with each other. My least favorite chore is putting away clothes. And through the holidays, I pretty much just shoved my clothes wherever so that my house looked clean, but it really wasn't. Gotta do what you gotta do to get through, I guess. I'm ashamed to admit that, but that's why my drawers look like this right now. The first step to fixing your problem, no matter what it is though, is to admit that you need to do something about it. So here we are. One of my New Year's goals is to kind of take life a little slower, be more intentional, and stay organized better. I'm starting out by taking everything out of the drawers, then going through it and getting real with myself. If I haven't worn it in a while, or if it's not something I reach for often, or if it doesn't actually fit me correctly, it's gotta go. Sometimes it's hard to let go of something because you spent money on it, because it's cute or sentimental, or because you desperately want it to fit correctly. But the more stuff you have, the harder it is to keep it clean and organized. So let's do ourselves a favor this year and get rid of things that we don't 100% love, no matter what.
you're new here, my name's Keely. I'm 30 years old and my middle name is really rainbow. I make YouTube videos about motherhood, DIYs, home decor, and what it's like to be me, someone who's slightly domestic and really relatable. I love sharing realistic ways to tackle motherhood and life with you guys. I have two daughters who are five and nine and a husband who works in the oil field, which means he's hardly ever here. I'm your new mom friend who drops F-bombs while cooking homemade bread and drinking tea. It's called balance, I guess, but I am only a Pinterest mom if it's something easy to do. So if you relate to any of that and you're not subscribed, hopefully you will. I try my best to post two videos per week here on YouTube as well as lots of fun content on TikTok and Instagram too. Anyway, let's get to know each other. First question, be honest, on a scale of one to 10, how messy is your closet right now? I give mine about an eight. As I'm putting everything back into the drawers, I wanna make sure I fold it all, organize it all, and hopefully leave some extra room too. I hate when everything's so jam-packed in a drawer that you can't see it or pull it out. I like to fold my clothes like this though, so when they're in there, you can see everything instead of piling it on top of each other. I fold the kids' clothes like this too, and it's so much easier. y'all we got to chat about what's coming up if you're not subscribed here's my chance to convince you 2022 is going to be full of so much fun i cannot wait i'm going to be doing tons of organization and decluttering in the new year and this is just one of the parts so far i've done my kitchen and now my closet but i'll also be doing the bathrooms my office and so many different places in my house to try to help me and help you guys get motivated you can also expect lots of holiday fun for valentine's day too i have lots of diy is coming this year also i'm planning to do our entryway kitchen and our bedroom so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on anything Everything I get rid of will go into piles. One of the piles will be for me to take to the resale store. I have some really awesome business clothes that I used to wear when I was a manager, so I'll take those there and maybe I'll get a little money for them. 
Mm, probably not that much, but oh well. Just so y'all know, getting rid of my business casual clothes is pretty much me committing to never going back to corporate restaurant life. So this is a big step, okay? I never did that before when I left the industry, but I'm doing it this time. The other pile and whatever the resale store doesn't take will go to be donated. If you have trouble deciding what to keep and what to get rid of when you're going through your closets, keep the 80-20 rule in mind. Like I said in the beginning of the video, we only wear roughly 20% of our clothes 80% of the time. So when you're looking at what to keep and what to toss, try to think of that rule. Another good tip is to turn your hangers around backwards. So when you wear something and hang it back up, you turn the hanger the correct way. And then after a few months, you'll be able to see the things you don't wear and the things you do. So then you'll be able to get rid of even more stuff. There are a lot of questions you can ask yourself as you declutter. Number one, would I buy this again? If the answer is no, then get rid of it. Number two, how does it fit? If it's not the perfect fit that you don't feel best in, then get rid of it. This honestly has nothing to do with size and has everything to do with how you feel when you wear your clothes. I have lots of clothes that fit me, but they don't really make me feel that great, so they gotta go. Number three, when will you wear it? Having clothes that are for certain occasions like formal events, working out, date nights, or around the house are all necessary, but make sure it makes sense for your actual life, you know? I mean, if you're a mom like me, does it really make sense to have that many formal dresses? I might go to like one or two formal events a year max. Number four, are you just keeping it because you feel guilty getting rid of it? Maybe you spent money on it. Maybe someone gave it to you, but it's not really your style. Whatever the reason, if you only have it because you don't think you're supposed to get rid of it, then that's a sign to get rid of it. Okay guys, so I have gone through all of my clothes and gotten rid of a ton of them and then I organized them. So we have jackets, sweatshirts, sweaters, long sleeve shirts, dresses, short sleeve shirts, and tank tops and crop tops. So that's all of that. Now I'm gonna start up here and clear all this out so I have room because I did take all my workout stuff out and I'm going to put that somewhere else. So I just want to clear all this out first and then I can figure out what's going to go up there and then I'm going to work my way down. I think that would be the best option. I don't know. We'll see. Let's try it.
Honestly, y'all, while I was decluttering today, I was feeling really self-conscious about my closet. I feel like most people on YouTube and a lot of people that I know in real life have picture perfect houses, you know, huge walk-in closets and all their hangers match and everything just looks so cute. But I don't really have any of that. Like anyone else, sometimes I really do feel self-conscious about and wish my house was different. But I've been trying lately to remind myself that I have worked hard for the house I have, the things I have, and as long as my house serves me, that's all that matters. I'm really trying hard to change my mindset about it and remind myself that having a normal house is okay. Maybe my closet isn't and won't ever be Instagram perfect, but that's not gonna stop me from sharing how I organize it and tips that have helped me stay organized. Your closet can be organized, work for you, and be full of items that you love without it being picture perfect. Let's be honest, it's not like your guests are coming over, judging your closet, taking a walk through, you know? It just needs to work for you. Okay, I gotta show you guys what's on the outside of my closet now because I organized all of this, all the shoes. There's a little pile of trash here, but I gotta show you guys the outside. So this is outside of my closet. So now I gotta wade through this and go through it. Some of this stuff is like holiday clothes that need to be put away in a bin. Some of it's like trash. So let's work on this mess. done going through everything and deciding what to keep and what to toss, I wanted to make sure my organization system worked better for me. My goals were to make sure the items I wear regularly are easy to grab and take little effort to put away. Like I said, I hate putting stuff away. If I can easily put something away and then easily find it, it'll simplify my life a lot and probably make it easier to stay clean in here. 
I bought these little hanging organizers from Walmart. The larger one I've actually had for a while, but the smaller one is new and was only like five bucks. I'll link them both down below. In the organizers, I decided to put my go-to items, which are mostly workout gear and leggings and stuff right now. You can actually utilize these to store entire outfits to make them easy to grab. I'm talking pants, tops, socks, all of it. That way you have it all planned out. If you're busy or trying to get motivated to work out early in the mornings or you just hate having to think about what to wear, then this is a great hack to have ready to grab outfits or keep items you wear a lot right in your face so you don't lose sight of them. y'all i want to thank you so much for watching if you're looking for more fun content i have the perfect video for you so make sure to click right up there in the corner and don't go anywhere because i would love to have you stick around also if no one's told you today you're doing a great job